Let's look at one more example of a dilution problem. In the stock room, there's a solution of sodium chloride that's labeled with a concentration of 0 0.5 molar. You want 30 milliliters of a 0.2 molar sodium chloride solution. So what you can do is you can take the stock solution and dilute it to the concentration you want. The question is asking, how much of that initial stock solution should I use to make the 30 milliliters of 0.2 molar sodium chloride? In the previous two questions, we were given the initial conditions of our solution and asked for the final. Here, I know my final conditions. I know that I want to end up with 30 milliliters of a 0.2 molar solution. And I'm given an initial concentration, so I need to find an initial volume. Fortunately, the dilution problem from the text makes this pretty simple. M1V1 equals M2V2. And we're looking for V1, we're looking for our initial volume. So I can say V1 is going to equal M2 V2 all over M1. I just divided both sides by M1. So my final concentration is going to be 0.2 molar. My final volume is going to be 30 milliliters. And my initial concentration was 0.5 molar. And cancel out the molarity and that's going to give me milliliters as a unit. So when I plug this into my calculator, I get 12 milliliters. All my data is in 3 sig fig, so I'll write this as 12.0 milliliters. So what that means is if I go into the stock room, I can get 12 milliliters of my 0.5 molar solution. If I then dilute that to a new volume of 30 milliliters, basically add 18 milliliters of water, then I'll end up with 30 milliliters of a 0.2 molar solution of sodium chloride.